What is going on my people? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your boy Nassim the Dream. If you're new to the channel, just go right on ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell as well to always keep notified on my newest content. Today I will be reviewing the newest King Gizzard in the Lizard Wizard record, Petro Dragonic Apocalypse. Australian rock band out of Melbourne, Victoria has dropped yet another record, becoming one of the most prolific rock bands of our time. Just back in October, dropping three full length projects that completely dive in into a new sound scope with different tales. And within the past three years, have dropped 11 full length projects, which is just highly uncommon. And not to mention a product that is pushed out this quickly is normally doomed to fail. But that is just not the case with King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. King Gizzard is just critically and objectively one of the most consistent creative music minds in rock music today. With outstanding performances accompanying their tours along the way, King Gizzard is just a fucking unit. They have proved time and time again that they consistently stay in the studio and create something that feels nearly like it's been cooking up for at least a year and that is just wildly wildly impressive to witness and this record just adds more to the argument for their support that they're one of the best out right now now this new direction they have chose dives in a little bit more ideally with the focus of heavy prog metal and thrash metal influences reminiscing back to their last metal record influence infest the rats nest which is admittedly my first time discovering the band and this discovery came with great contentment as i am a huge fan of metal music this is what I was mostly expecting continuing on with the band on but realizing they are just an embodiment of rock music and everything that it's ever came along with all its children I was dumbfounded by what the band could really put out and at that point my curiosity just went all the way with the band I just had to see where they could go next and here we are with the 24th studio project from King Gizzard and Lizard Wizard and what can I say they don't miss. Now conceptually we do see similarities with this record based off its environmental ideas that come with these cause and effects of what we are doing to our own planet. Strongly noted from one of the records that came in that three batch from October, Death Planets along with Mushrooms and Lava that dove into this most recent concept. However this time it's giving more of an apocalyptic approach but also some hysterical random moments that really lead up to this summoning of this witch that tries to save the planet but instead in the result comes out with a quote-unquote gila monster and in total just ends in deserved all-out disaster due to our careless actions as selfish human beings but then as far as heavy metal goes this is just right up my alley an old man that lived his glory days through the 70s and 80s of rock progression would probably hear this and be willing to think that this actually came out during that time. With the intro Motor Spirit, this has to be one of the sickest introductions, wasting no time with their melodic motifs that the band has ever put out on a record. This song to me is just an all out brawl, a mosh-topian wall of death paradise. A crushing thrasher that spews chaotic hellfire and ash into the enemies and leaves no mercy on the battlefield. King Gizzard also implements their expertise of progression so well when changing speeds in the second half of the song giving a nod to the predecessors that came before. I just become enthralled with the authentic 70s inclusions such as the whirling guitars, the arpeggios, the amplified supporting vocals on here, the solos, the breakdowns. I'm at the point where I feel like I'm in the guitar hero game that's dedicated to the entirety of King Gizzard. What the fuck do I have to do to make that happen? In all seriousness, the fundamental work of the guitar work are just so vintage and just impenetrable. Impenetrable as steel. The hammer-ons from the track Converge just make me wanna... Urgh, they make me wanna fucking lose it, dude. Headbanger after headbanger, King Gizzard masters the game of motion and variety, never abusing too much of a good thing to leave this overly saturated. The instrumentals are constantly coming up with ways to intrigue the listener deeper and farther into the very end. And this record is a little bit shorter than the average King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard record, but I would say regardless of the record's length, this is already a great challenge in itself to keep a listener engaged this far. I even love the effort with the ideas that is making the transitions more bold and engaging. It's also wrapped up with a really great closer, Flamethrower, that is an excellent example that advances highly in these categories, while also bringing in some awesome sound effect substitutions that add more depth to the song itself. To put it simple, this record is just 
kick ass rock and roll fun. To put out something as a modern rock band in 2023 and come out with a record that seemed like it would be spoiled due to the time that's passed, the era that's mostly ended, and the music we've already really heard before. This sounds astonishingly new and bold, a record that would have dominated during the reign of metal. Now to turn on the critic brain in me, I understand where the arguments are coming from that this album can be campy. Sure, I can agree with that. It is quite one dimensional. There's not really other color palettes that are really used. You kind of stay in the same world the entire time. It just feels like you're always in a pit of fire and that's the point of the record. But I do dispute that this causes a lack of movement. I just don't think that's the case. I think the band makes a great effort into making this thing really feel like it's progressing into something bigger and to my standards of metal which are pretty high i listen to a lot of metal music and i can get sick of a lot of metal music too because of how oversaturated some of the ideas really come off with and just cliche some things are just written down i objectively think that this record was taken to a great toll that really elevated metal to make it feel like not only is this nostalgia bait per se but it's worth giving a check out because of how new and profound it feels to listen to. It doesn't necessarily just feel like King Gizzard is paying homage to the bands that have already perfected the sound like with Black Sabbath, Metallica, Megadeth, Testament, the list goes on. They truly do feel like experts in the studio when they are constantly coming up with different strategies into making their instruments sound like a new evolvement. So the one dimensional intake, out the window, I could care less. I'm gonna give King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard Petro Dragonic Apocalypse a 93%. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, go on a like, share, comment down below of what you thought of this album. Do not forget to check down in the description for my separate checklist ratings for the album, more videos, and also the links to my social media accounts so you can keep up with me on the daily. And I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Doses.